SanAntonioCounterculture.com out here at San Antonio Studios and we are out here with Beyond the Canvas doing a little sneak peek before the show, May 24, Fairy Tales and Fantasies. We have a whole bunch of artists inside. We have uh, some models. So we're going to fix in to see a model get painted live. Can't wait to check this out. San Antonio Counterculture.com here, and we are doing a Beyond the Canvas sneak peek of our upcoming event. I'm standing here with Tomas. He is the director and founder of Beyond the Canvas. Now, Tomas, when did your passion begin for Beyond the Canvas? Uh, well, it started about 2010. We had Beyond the Canvas 1 at Tonic. Uh, ever since then, it's about it's tripled in size. Uh, it's a great network of uh, artists, models, and photographers, volunteers, basically everybody that's supporters of the art. Uh, so it's a really, really fun experience. and. Uh, I just, I've just enjoyed watching it grow. Now, personally, are you an artist? Uh, I'm a photographer and I do a little bit of graphic design work. Um, so, I mean, I guess you can say yes. Okay, and what began with the, the body art? Well, um, like everybody knows, body art's been around since the beginning of, of civilization. I mean, it, in all forms, all over the world. Um, it's just never, it was never done in San Antonio like in a, in a big way, like in a uh, competitive way. And I thought that that'd be a, a really good idea to, to start here and uh, it's basically taken off. Definitely, the human body is already the perfect canvas, and mm -hmm. we've got something going on right behind us. Yeah, we got uh, Jason Lozano, Mari Gonzalez, and Lauren Bracewell. Uh, they're painting on Abbey Road, and they're doing like a Bob Marley kind of theme. Um, just like a little sample for y'all of the big event that's going to happen May 24th. Yeah, it's a, bit, a lot of difficult work, very intricate, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes a lot, very time consuming. The artists have and models have uh, five hours to paint. Uh, so they start about 6 o'clock, the doors open at 8, and then the competition ends at 11. So they have about five hours to, to use their time wisely to, you know, to create their masterpiece, and then it goes on stage for the presentation. Now, how do you choose the themes for these events? Um, basically, after every event, we go back in there, and we, put, we ask a question, you know, like, hey, what would you like to be the theme to be? Uh, everybody puts their comments and posts, and then we, we kind of like put a poll on Facebook uh, within the group, and then uh, the one with the most votes wins. Okay, and what other upcoming events do y'all have planned? We're all also teaming up with Matari Productions, and we're going to be doing a, uh, a live drama, kind of like a play with Beyond the Canvas actors and models, and that's going to be November. Uh, we're looking for a venue for that, but it's going to be something where you have to sit down, and there's going to be a story, and, and it's going to be really, really uh, awesome. Well, thanks for being here with us, Tomas, and you are, again, the director and founder of Beyond the Canvas. Yes, and I also want to say thank you to you guys for allowing us to be here uh, to help get the word out. Appreciate it. Look forward to working with everybody.